idea. I'm super excited to get going. Happy Thursday, guys. Let's start with a little bit of a butt kicker, and hopefully that's what the workout's gonna be today, is a little bit of a butt kicker. To start easy, let's add arms. Get lots of stuff moving. A few more here. We're gonna be shifting gears. Next, we're gonna pull through the knee. Drag that knee up just as tall as you can. A few more. We're gonna to transition to straight leg uh, lifts or kicks and side kicks. A few more. We'll be transitioning to our front kicks next. And here we go, front kick and reach. Few more here. Preparing for a transition to our back kicks. And back kick. This is a straight leg. Just trying to get our glutes to wake up this morning. Last few kicks here. We'll rest our lower body for a second. Reach the arms up above head. Pull the elbows down. Shoot them right back up. Inhale, extension, exhale, pull those shoulder blades together. Some full deep breaths as you're going through this. It's kind of a simpler move, but it can help prepare your breathing technique for the day. We're gonna stay down here on this next one. Pull those elbows in nice and tight. Pull those hands back, hips forward. Deeper with the elbows. Hold, three, two, and release, reach on over, big side stretch, and switch, and switch, and switch. Again, stopping at the top, hands here around the ears, round forward, and then open up the chest, round forward, and open up, one more, and open up. Extend out those arms, widen your stance. We're gonna go down for a windmill. Touch and switch. We got a couple more here. This will be our last set. And then stop at the top for just a second. We're gonna be shifting our weight from side to side. Take advantage of that wide stance. First few reps, don't feel like you need to uh, rush. The whole warm up, don't need, you do not need to rush, right? Take your time, get your body used to things. Next, we're gonna move down to the hips. We'll start up, stop on the right, rotate, gentle pulse. And then straighten up both legs. Release a little bit of tension, walk it over to the other side. Settle down into that. A few pulses here at the bottom. And then straighten up both legs. Walk it around in front, pivot your toes forward. Big old straight leg stretch feels so good. Bend your knees and come down into your nice low seat. Settle into those hips. Hands down, straight legs. We got one more of those. Head down, nice low seat. And straight legs. And come on up. All right, guys, so this is what we got going on today. Today we have three moves per set. Uh, each exercise is gonna run for 30 seconds. You won't have any break or transition time between the moves. Um, and we're gonna go for four rounds. So we got a whole lot of arms coming up in that first set. Um, if you do need a break because we didn't uh, put them in there, just go ahead and take a little reset, shake those arms off and then get back to work. As mentioned before, 
So you're calling for light weight or two cans of beans. Uh, if you don't have any weights, just use those fists of fury, okay? First set, we're looking at a squat kick punch. We do this often, you know what it looks like. Squat kick and punch, okay? Again, without weight, punch and punch. You get a good, nice uh, <clears throat> speed there. You're gonna get a lot of work. Second exercise, squat hold, fast punches. So we head down to a wide squat, punch, 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 and you're good here. Your shoulders are gonna give you problems with weight and lose them. Next move, you're up for an L raise. So one arm's in front, one arm's beside us. We lift, we drop, we rotate the arms, but the rest of our body stays still. So that's gonna be your move. If the side raise is really hard, then just focus on the front raise. You're okay with that. Or again, you can focus on that full lift if you're trying to rehab your shoulders. That's all I need you to think about right now. So squat, kick, punch, squat, hold, fast punches, and then that L raise. All right, guys. If you're gonna grab for weights, go ahead and get those. We're gonna get started here in five. Squat, kick, punch. Here we go, squat, kick, punch. Let's see how we woke up this morning. Woo, Joni woke up fierce. Woo, that's good guys. You got 10 seconds here. Squat, kick, punch. Be ready for your switch at the next bell. We're gonna hold our squat. Get down, here we go. Punch, punch, punch. Try to keep your weights at eye level if you can. Punch, punch, punch. Nice work, looking good. Stay low in that seat, 10 seconds, you're almost there. Five seconds, we'll be upright for the L raise. Here we go, reset. Here we go, we slow things down a little bit. Shoulders are gonna feel a little bit tired here. You got about 10 seconds, guys. Since we have four rounds, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna get through that set one more time, then I'll give you a re I'll give you a little bit of a break, okay? Here we go. Squat kick punch. If you're wondering why I'm gonna give you a break, then you're not working hard enough, right? Because if you're done, if you're doing this at your hundred percent, you're definitely gonna need that break after this round. Punch kick and punch kick. Jason, looks like you're still waking up. Five seconds. Let's go with this. We got our squat hold, fast punch. Here we go, settle. Punch, 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 punch. Again, if those weights get heavy, work your arms without the weight. Halfway there. Let's get those last 10 seconds in here. We'll work the L raise after this. Reset, here we go. So with that L raise, we get to calm down a little bit. We wanna keep our knees unlocked, our belly braced for the lift. And if you're wondering where you exhale, exhale when you lift the arms. 10 seconds. As promised, you got a reset coming up. And rest here for a second. Rest your arms, shake them off. That was really good. It was a good warm up, yeah? Whew, feels good though. I got 20 seconds before we begin again. We're gonna go straight through our last two rounds of this set. I think I'll keep that uh, break time in between the four rounds for each one of our circuits, okay? I think you're gonna need it for us to get you at 100%. Every move, five seconds, guys. Let's get down to business. Squat, kick, punch, coming. Whew, here we go, this is three. Yes, now, hello. Good morning, 6 a.m. Fitness Impact. On fire. Amazing what a little bit of a break can do. 10 seconds.
Give me five more seconds and we'll be into our squat hold. Get down, let's go. Beautiful, good punches. That's it, try to stay low. Body's gonna start creeping. 10 seconds. We got our L raise coming up. Reset, here we go. This is a beautiful set, I love this, so much fun. We have 10 seconds here with the L raise. One more round with this set. All right, folks, let's do this again. Squat, kick, punch. We got a good pace going for our last round here. I'm happy about that. Stay fierce, guys. You've got 10 seconds. This is the last time you perform this move today. Get down, fast punches. You're about halfway there, by the way. Keep it up, keep fierce, stay low, stay strong. You've got this, you're working towards a break. Whew, you got this, you can do it. Five seconds, guys. L raise coming, reset. Here we go. It's our last move here at this circuit. We're gonna get a little break after this exercise while I demonstrate your next three moves. Again, keeping those knees unlocked. Keep your tummy tight, supporting the weight. Exhale with the lift. Five seconds. Guess what, guys? You had a little break here. Rest. All right, we're gonna be heading down to the ground for this next set. We're gonna stay down for all three moves. I'll make sure you can see me. All right, so the first move is gonna be a sit-up punch. So again, with or without weight, full sit-up, punch, punch. And then we're right back down again. That's our move. Next move, we'll take our weights if you're using them right on the hips and work some hip raises. After that, we'll take our weights to our chest and work weighted crunches. Again, all those moves can be done without weight. You have about 10 seconds here before we begin. Everyone should be heading down to the ground. Feeling all right, Jason? Okay, all right. Five seconds and we move into our sit-up double punch. Let's go. Punch, punch. Halfway point. Where the gale can be. Five seconds. Weighted hip raises coming up. Here we go. Halfway point. That's a 10 second bell. We're going into crunches next. Crunches. More than halfway there. 10 seconds. We'll be back into our full sit up at the next bell. Sit up, punch, and punch. Ten. 
Give me a little breath every time you punch. That way I know there's some power coming out of you. 10 seconds, guys. Hip raise is coming up next. Here we go. You don't have to go real fast, but you want to have a good pace here. You're up, you're down. You're up, you're down. You're up, you're down. You have 10 seconds. We're thinking about our crunches next. Here we go, crunches. Halfway point. Get a belly burn here, you got a break coming. Couple more crunches. And recover, rest. I was debating whether you needed that break here, but I decided to go for it anyway. The timing is good, you're doing awesome, and we had a whole lot of abs yesterday. 20 seconds, guys. We have two more rounds of that same set. 10 seconds, let's start getting ourselves ready. Sit up, double punch, with or without weights. I feel your bell coming. Let's go. Punch, punch. Ten seconds here with this move. Thinking about hip raises? They're coming up next. Here we go, hip raise. Good transitions here. Easy when everything's on the ground. No time to waste. 10 seconds, guys. Just a few more hip raises. And working into those crunches. Here we go. Halfway point. That's a 10 second bell. We're gonna be rolling right into our last round of this next bell. Sit up, double punch. This is the last time we go through this set. Okay, we have 10 seconds left with this exercise. Hip raises. Here we go. You're more than halfway down with your hip raise. Five seconds. Prepare for a transition into crunches. Here we go, crunches. Burning that little bit of a belly burn after yesterday, that shouldn't be too hard. We have 10 seconds to complete the circuit. Be prepared for a break here. Rest. All right, guys. New set. We've got a squat, two cross body punches. So this is a weighted squat. When we come up, we pivot our back foot to two sides. Come up, punch, punch, and down. Punch and punch, okay? 
Next move, we have a bicep curl to two up, uppercuts. So we're going bicep curl, uppercut, uppercut, bicep curl, uppercut, uppercut. So it feels awkward because you don't know where to stop with those arms. I keep them up so that it's easy for me to remember, get that full cut on each side, okay? Next exercise, two front kicks worth, uh, versus two reverse lunges. So front kick, front kick, back lunge, and back lunge. You don't need to use your weights at all if your arms need a little bit of a break. We got 10 seconds before we begin. Squat versus two cross body crunches for our first move. Here we go. Good. Make sure you get a pivot in that back leg so you don't tweak your knee. Make sure you're crossing the body. Get those obliques to work. Ten seconds. Bicep curl to two uppercuts. If you're not using weights, you can focus on just the uppercuts. Here we go. Bicep curl. Uppercut. Uppercut. Bicep curl. No weights. You're about halfway there. Two front kicks, two back lunges. Here we go, front kick, front kick, back lunge, and back lunge. If you are not lunging, you could do a squat, two front kicks. Ten seconds here. Round one is almost done. We have our squat, two cross bodies coming up next. Here we go. About halfway there. Nice, Jaya. You're looking good this morning. Power punching. Five seconds. Here we go. Bicep curl. Uppercut. Uppercut. Bicep curl. We've got about 10 seconds here. Prepare to work those legs. Front kick versus back lunges. Here we go. Front kicks versus back lunge. Again, no back lunge, no problem. Just give me a squat. Front kicks should have a hinge. So you bring the knee up first and then you extend the leg. It's different than when we warm up, guys. Rest. Recover for a second. That's amazing. It's awesome. Gotta catch your breath here. We're gonna go through that two more times, guys. Feeling good and ready? Okay, we've got our squat, two cross body punches, bicep curl uppercuts, two front kicks, reverse lunge, and we're starting in 10. 10 seconds, Gail. I know you're just pumped. You're pumped, she wants to go, I know. But you gotta rest. All right, now we go. We always come back with some more power. Sermantas, keep those weights up here. Gotta get those tired arms, here we go. Five seconds, guys. Debbie, you're on fire. Uppercut. Bicep curl if you're going to do it. <laughs> Woo! Ten seconds. Front kicks, back lunges, 
You need to lose the squats, focus on the front kicks. Ten seconds here, guys. We got one more round. That's a minute and a half. Let's do this. Squat and crossbody. Stay powerful. Yes, good job. You should be getting tired, but you're getting better and better. Five seconds, guys. We won't do this again today. Bicep curl. Upper gut. Upper gut. About halfway done with this move. About five seconds, we're gonna go into our front kicks, back lunges to wrap this one up. Here we go, front kick, back lunge. We got a nice little break coming up in about 15 seconds. That's a 10 second bell, by the way. Let's give you a little break, rest. Okay, next move, curtsy bicep curl. So we're gonna go through, work a curtsy. You can use both dumbbells for that bicep curl. We're gonna stay on the right side. Next move, of course, we'll do the left side curtsy. And then we're gonna head into our half sit up fly. So our arms start here, they come falling beside us. We're gonna come up halfway, close the arms, work the fly, and then slowly come down with our weight. That's gonna be your full move. You can do that same move, without weights if it's too hard on your shoulders, okay? If you're not doing curtsies today, we can work a squat and a bicep curl, or you can do a single-sided bicep curl, just work the arms, and then work the other side. I know we have had a lot of legs uh, lately. All right, let's find ourselves ready. In about 10 seconds, we begin our last set. Curtsy and bicep curl, we'll be doing the curtsy to the right side. Gail, you're just so excited. Oh my lord, three. Two, let's do this guys. Right side curtsy. No weights, no problem, just focus on the curtsy. Halfway there. At the bell, we're gonna take the curtsy to the other leg. Here we go. Keeping the bicep curl. You're about halfway there. The good curtsy, Jason. Five seconds. We're gonna be down in our half sit up fly next. Let's head down, guys. Here we go. Exhale when you close the arms and come up for the sit-up. Inhale down. Nice and controlled. Again, if the weights become too much, focus on the movement with no weight. You can do a fly and a crunch if you're not doing the sit-up. Guys, let's do it again. Come on up. Curtsy bicep curl. Right side. Ten seconds on this side. Left leg curtsy. Squat curl if you're not doing the curtsy, or just focusing on that upper body. Good. 
Good work. Halfway there. Keep focus on your good form. Sit up's coming. Let's head down. Half sit up or even in a crunch form, you can do this five. Ten second bell. Come on up, I'm gonna give you just a brief break here. We're gonna have about 15 seconds to shake loose. Be ready for our last couple of minutes. Okay guys, five seconds. We're going back into our curtsy bicep curl, right leg. This is our last two rounds. Here we go. You're more than halfway there with 10 seconds on this side. Left side, here we go. You're more than halfway there on this left side. Five seconds, you're gonna be on the ground. Working that half sit, here we go. Exhale, inhale. Halfway point. About five seconds and we go into our very last round. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, you're on your feet. We will alternate our, our uh, curtsies here. Last round, this is our last minute. Only 10 seconds left with this exercise. That's it guys. Next bell, you're on the ground to wrap things up. Half sit up, fly. Here we go. This is the end of your workout. Really nice and slow and control. Roll the back down one vertebrae at a time. We're starting to simmer down from all that fire. Five seconds. And recover, rest. I'm hitting 6.35 right now, so we're gonna start, start on the ground for our stretch. I don't wanna keep you. Tuck your knees in, give it a little rock side to side. If you need to leave early, I understand, and I wish you a good day. And extend up those legs, point and flex. Bend the knees, cross them over the body. Keep both shoulders on the ground. Carefully bring yourself back up to your start. And then over to the other side. And carefully bring yourself back up to your start. Rock yourself forward and back. Massage your back. And then come all the way up so you're seated. Go ahead and hug those legs, pull away. Stretch open the shoulder blades. And 
and release, extend out the legs. Let's just take a deep breath together. Draw it in, reach, and exhale, round forward. One more, deep breath, and exhale. Rest. Well done, everyone. That was so fun. I had to stop myself from working out with you. I was like, I'm not, I'm not working out. I'm a trainer. Stop it. You guys are so fun. Did great today, everybody. Thank you. Bye, Scramontes. Bye, Kim and Kim and Lisa and Delia, Jason, Kale. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks.